gone, girl. Whoa, easy. Steady on. Let's go. Easy, girl. Easy. A lovely man, and quite wealthy. I only wish he had lived to bless my alliance with his son. I'm sorry to hear about that. Do you know whether that change was actually made? seen this, I should ask more questions. An eminent colleague. He wrote prolifically. Probably no one will ever amass the amount of knowledge he acquired. My thesis subject. My South American colleagues tell me that this particular arachnid is only found in the Bolivian Andes. Fascinating subject. I should go back and ask about this. I'm most vexed about that. A rare specimen of the sort I've been studying for years. It escaped a few days ago, no doubt due to that scatterbrained assistant Virginia. I hoped you wouldn't find that. I'm afraid several of the faculty purchase cadavers for research purposes. It's a fact of university life. I should go back and ask about this.
The anthropological sciences have lost a great mind. He revolutionized the field. It is my fond hope that I may inherit his mantle. Which one is that? Sorry, difficult to read. I've lost my spectacles somewhere. I recently traveled to Africa in order to continue studies on the indigenous tribe Professor Bing discovered some time ago. I believe I should re-interrogate a witness. He showed up again. First time that's happened in 35 years of grave digging. I saw the sun lock the tomb myself. I should return and find out about this. snatching that's an insult i'd be in the slammer quick as that if i got caught it's plain that seven guineas is a lot for a bloke like me i'm careful with me pennies and save for a rainy day so i sell a body or two on the side a man's got to eat ain't he i broke the lock and left him on a barrow just behind his tomb it was dark couldn't really see but some fella come by and cart the old professor off. It's muddy back there. You can likely still see the tracks.
Onward. Yes, that's mine. I misplaced a similar one, possibly at the funeral. I was so upset. I required his knowledge in order to become the greatest anthropologist in the British Empire. And his beloved tribe of savages provided the method. That Professor Silas was particularly cunning and gruesome. <laughs> Mr. Raymond will be thrilled. moving. Doing fine, girl. Who's a good horse? You are. That's the way. Let's go. This is one that's most promising. An important detective is missing. Skullduggery is surely afoot. Solve it, and I'll write it up quick as you please. of mine. The whole station is out looking for him as we speak. Ironically, he came here on an investigation himself. Seems several people have gone missing in this part of town. We've had reports of missing people over the last few months. Detective Murphy is just the most recent and the only one who's anybody to speak of.
saw him going into the barber shop when I was on my way to work. In this kind of neighborhood, people come and go. I believe I should re-interrogate a suspect. Indeed. He spent a fair amount of time in here, uh, poking around. Come on, bloody Pegasus! Some people around town just seem to vanish. It is mysterious. Yeah. George delivers that to us. It's amazing. The flowers just grow and grow. Sweet boy. Constantly giving my assistant gifts, a jacket, a handbag, and so on. George is my sweetheart. I think he plans to propose marriage soon. Maybe even today. Detective Murphy. Must be around someplace. He's probably got high eye to run off somewhere. That's unusual. I wonder if someone could tell me more about this. about missing people but a meat pa he did stayed and chatted for a few minutes then headed off to the barber i'm told that some people have gone missing but i don't know anything about it george delivers meat from the pies lovely lad i pay on delivery i believe he picks it up from a local butcher shop bloke nosing around. I told him to sod off. I pride myself on the quality of the beef I sell. Somebody selling cheap around here though, my sales have dropped off. George? I don't know any George.
came in asking lots of questions. I believe I answered them to his satisfaction. I suppose there are a few people I haven't seen in a while. Why would you want to know about him? Stupid boy. He does deliver tan leather on occasion, but I really have very little to do with him. Now that I've seen this, I should ask more questions. Yeah, I gave him a trim. He asked no end of questions. When I cut his hair, I notices a tattoo right at the base of his neck. A green Celtic cross, it was. You're right. Several people have disappeared over the past months. Some of them were customers of mine. I'm trying to quit drinking. Sometimes my hand shakes when I'm given a shave. George was in here earlier, getting an haircut. He wanted to look nice for his girl. He's been seeing Joanna from the flower shop for some time now. Said he's finally saved up enough money to pop a question. 